hey babes welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how to create this look or somewhat of a similar look if you would like to so please join your rambling host and let's get ready for some makeup <laughs> hello gorgeous and welcome back to rambles and makeup with your rambling host victavia hello hello yes clap it up for me clap it oh yes you're not clapping, are you? Anywho, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great week to thus far because this goes up on Fridays. Um, Today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. It still falls under the face paint category, but for today's episode, I actually pulled my inspiration from this book, um it's called roseblood now let me put some heavy disclaimers in here i have not yet read roseblood it's sitting on my shelf looking all pretty but when i saw the cover i was like yeah i want to do it so this is what we're going to work with i'm going to put the cover up because i feel like this does not necessarily show you how i want it to look i drew the face really big for a reason because if i draw small i'm not gonna sketch out what i need to sketch out and it's going to be a thing. But so <clears throat> as always, I'm going to tell you what I'm using beforehand before I get too into it because I will forget to tell you. The CC Beauty Palette, I might use my Snazaroo White Paint today. Um, a color palette from NYX. It's called Ultimate. It's a multi-shadow. I'm going to be back with Suva today okay i just like saying it like that i don't know why i hope i'm pronouncing it right that's how i pronounce it and then there's always my girl rihanna and fenty okay so welcome back guys how are you now <laughs> no i have not read the book but i will say i have read some of the artist's other works um she was this author was like this lady in the past she is this author of this series called like i always say it wrong entangled a snarled series i'm gonna put them in here like the book titles and stuff but basically it's like a dark version of alice in wonderland i started reading it in high school fell in love with it okay that was you know when i was into like magical romance and I, I still i still am i just don't read it as much but that those stories were my stories okay and so when i found out that she came out with rose blood i was like yes uh, i want to read this <laughs> there's no good excuse on why i haven't read it i just haven't read it okay so i'm gonna actually do something here and then here yeah and also yeah i know i don't ever take my septum off i don't want to take my septum off like i realize full and well it's gonna get caught in the paint but i don't wanna but if you have piercing and you want to take it out take it off okay so what we are really going for here is a mask so i might actually here you get to see me redo some things today because i want to restart this my please be gentle with yourself unlike what that was like took my eyeball out hello okay <laughs> i'm so rough like I'm supposed to be showing y'all professionalism which i mean sometimes you just mess up and want to start again you know i have a lot of the way that this is going so here we're gonna start here yeah and then you want it to look like you got a mask on guys but anyways how are you how have you been it's so funny to me to think that like when these videos like start really being seen by people, I'd be like, how you been? How you been? Three years later, they're like, we're great. How are you? But if so, tell me how you're doing. Like, I want to hear it. Just an observation. Okay. I am going to next do this little like 
black vine right here before I draw in the rest because I know myself. If I do not outline and put clear directions, I'm going to crash and burn. So here. Yes. But really, how have you guys been? I know, I, I go quiet a lot. I'm so sorry. I call myself the rambling host and then I don't ramble and people are like, she lied. No, I ramble. I'm just, I wanna make sure I do. Okay, let me get all up in your face real quick. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how have I been, you asked? I've been amazing. Listen, y'all. It is so crazy to think like everything I've accomplished. I was talking to my best friend about this and I'm like, it's really wild to think about like everything I've accomplished thus far because I started this in really in November. I well, I did one in October, but Really, when I came home, came back home, it was like mid-November, you know, December when I really got serious and wanted to, you know, come out for this and try it out. So I am stoked about it because like I said, I've made so much progress already, I feel like, and it's just amazing. It's just crazy, like... I know I say this always, and I'm going to drop it in here and probably at the end of the video, but what what was that English? Can we get an instant replay of that? And probably at the end of the, end of the video, but yeah, <laughs> I am going to try to um, be as motivational as I can to somebody because I don't know when this will hit you, you know, when you'll need this, when you'll need to hear this. Baby, you can do anything. You can do anything you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you what you are capable of. Do not. Okay? You got this. Now, I think what I'm going to do first is there's this purple. There's these designs that I want to do. Huh. Y'all, okay, we just gonna start with the white first. I'm trying to map out how it is I want to do stuff, but I'm not really, baby. Okay, we're gonna take our white and we are gonna start painting our face and I'm gonna just go from there. I'm gonna work from there. Yes, this is how I'm doing it today because it is, it's a mask. It's a white mask and I am not about to spend my time with no makeup brush. I'm pretty sure I gave y'all the rundown before. Makeup brushes, don't do it for me when I have this much area of my face to cover. But, uh-huh. You're right. You're right, Lord. You're right. I I do have to do a part of my eye. See, the Lord is great. So here, this area should not be, really, all of this shouldn't have been colored in. But here, we're going to. All right, guys, I'm back. I didn't think nobody would really want to see me rectify <laughs> the mess I've made. But if you did, I'm so sorry. Really, all I did is I went, I had to stop the video because I was making a mess. Now, I know I said to, like, use your finger, but where your vines and stuff are, first of all, it didn't come out looking like vines, but I'm going to still keep it like that because I can work with this. But you need to be careful around, like, the markings, and you do need to make sure, like, not to, because in my other videos, I always say, your lines will bleed, meaning if you get too close to your black and you're just dabbing with your finger, you're going to have to stop. Go back in with your white, I mean, with your black. And it's just the thing, it's easier if you just pay attention and work slow. Now I'm trying to define my line over here for my barrier. Mm. 
Okay. Now, what I'm actually going to do is add some purple. I have this like little shiny dark purple. I hope this comes out the way I'm thinking it's going to come out. You know, like the way it came out in my head. Well, it's not going to with this brush. So hang. Okay. I try so hard to be so, so ready and on top of my game. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're going to, you can use any color you want to use. I was just kind of inspired to use purple. Hello. So you're going to take your color and you're going to outline the white. So please don't, don't be the bearer of bad news today. Come on. Can you even see what I am doing? No, you cannot. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to be in front of this camera. Is that how it's supposed to look? I'm asking y'all like y'all know. Purple don't fail me. It's just like a glitter color, but I'm like, you're not glittering, bud. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. <sighs> Had to come and get you. So despite everything I said, I want the purple on the white. Like I, right there. Mostly to outline it. Okay. Y'all, I might have to stop this take more than I thought I would, but we getting through this one, okay? That is a promise. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing about it because it's like. Usually by now I'd be angry like this is not working, but we just gonna ride this way. I refuse to be. I don't want to be like that today. It's going to work. It's going to happen. It's going to be okay I'm sorry, guys. I am being quiet. Usually, I put some little music in here. I'm going to start talking again, I promise. Okay, so I wanted to leave in... Even though I don't do much talking, I wanted to leave in just some of the steps I took, like the process, just in case anybody truly wants to do this and like you feel frustrated or like, man, I don't even know what she did. Because I get like that too. Like I'll watch, I used to watch uh, like makeup videos and stuff and they'd be like, I had it this and that. And I'm like, okay, but what was the steps? What was the steps that you took, baby girl? <laughs> and I think that that's why I really stopped watching makeup videos because I was like, I don't know what you're doing. But um, yeah, you just 
Man, you're just playing with your face. I just like painting on my face. This gives me an excuse to do something I always got scolded for as a kid. Because I, y'all, I used to draw my arms on my face. And I used to always get told, like, I get lead poisoning and stuff. And which it should have scared me. But for whatever reason, Shay was like, more. Mote, 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 mote. All right. Just be careful when you try to get those little fine corners. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I always feel a little geeked when it is slowly coming together. Now, really, all that's going to do is, hmm, I said, we're going to see if it pops up. But if not, we're not going to really worry about that, baby. But I wanted to... I'm going to show. Uh -huh. Yep. Once again, you got to go slow with this part because it is layered over the white. Which is why at the beginning of the video, <laughs> I had such a crisis deciding what I was going to do. I don't want to mess up you guys can't see this can you right there look i gotta get all up in your face i'm so sorry did you got you a little purple heart yes and then i said I wanted to do that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it anyways, cause we're already here. Then you gotta take your red and do you a rose. Let me see. Maybe y'all ready for y'all ready for my little doodle skills? Oh, okay, not too shabby. I feel satisfied. That's how I feel like a rose looks. Don't fight me over this. That's how my rose looks, okay? Sue me. All right. Now, the last one is to just, I don't have enough. <laughs> I, I overestimated how many pencils I needed. Uh, I mean, makeup brushes I needed for this. This one won't be so bad, though, because I just want to draw a little green vine from my cheeky. Oh, wait, no, I got two. I lied. Y'all do not listen to me until I'm absolutely done, because... I obviously don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. And then. Now there was a part on my eye. We're going to. We're going to do this. So you take right here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but your little vines, green vines this time. I'm trying to see if I like this, if I want to redo it. I kind of dig it. 
be careful with your vines because if you're not they're gonna be really big and I do have a bigger brush so I mean I guess technically that was my fault Mm-hmm. Y'all, I got this K-pop song stuck in my head. You got me looking for attention. I'm probably going to have that video <laughs> uploaded by the time I post this. But due to copyright reasons, of course, you know, it's probably going to, I'm probably going to have to just post it on TikTok, but I will link it down below okay then <laughs> this is your phantom of the opera mask so whatever the heck that mouthful was i want to try to go back and play with my black really quickly to see if i can try to like hmm all right. <laughs> this don't look like a vine, but I mean, it is a vine. It's a vine. It's my version of what a black vine looks like. Okay. I am not about to argue about things like this with myself. All right. And then you just go back through. I'm serious, y'all, because I will. I'm the type of person. I'll be like, oh, but it doesn't look just like the picture. And no, like, it's different. Of course, it's different. Like, shut up. Okay. You don't really have to do much with this. I just kind of make sure, like to make sure like I have everything covered the way I want it. Cause sadly your girl is a perfectionist and baby face paints take it to a whole nother level. Okay. Yeah, we'll be eating for lunch. Cause uh your girl needs to eat something and I quite frankly don't know what it is I'm gonna eat today. Drop it in the comments. What did you eat today? for lunch now now don't be sending me oh i had because if you ain't gonna share now if you ain't gonna share don't tease me okay don't you tease me baby please pretty please i love jackson that man speaking of which y'all jackson and uh millie have this song out called mind games I, you're right in my face um <laughs> Makeup time. It's called Mind Games. Yo, it's a bop, okay? It's a good song. All right, that's our recommendation for this week, and it's in English. I feel a little bit bad because I gave a um, I gave a K-pop recommendation last week, K-hip-hop rather. But I mean, I warned y'all; those are my music choices, okay? I listen to some, I listen to some American. Music. You know, you should check out in the Americas. <laughs> <laughs> you should check out what song do I really like? Actually, I'm gonna give y'all this song because that song means a lot to me. Double Up by Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace, my man. But Double Up is such a good song. I'm telling y'all, it got me through a lot. Like when I was transitioning out of my job and you know, when I was about to embark on like my adventures overseas and stuff and even when i came back home double up is just that song that like it hypes me up you know you don't settle you don't compromise for other people chase your dreams even it does not matter where you come from what your background is like you know i came from such a small small town and the only thing people knew about it was that 
racism happened there. I don't want to put the whole deep truth on this video, but I have talked about it before on my channel if you want to go find it. But that's the history of my place, you know? And I, I was like, if I ever get known in the world, if I ever make it, nobody's going to ever know I was from Jasper. But I, mean, I say it proudly now because, I mean, that's my home. Regardless of what happened, what they chose to do as individual people, like, it was the trenches, but those are my trenches. That's my version of trenches. <laughs> so sometimes, like I remember this um, one guy, I don't know if he'll ever see this. I hope he doesn't. I'm not going to put his name in here, but this one guy told me, I don't, I don't know if my best friend remember it, but um, he told me and this other girl who was our roommate at the time that he could say the word nigga because he grew up in the trenches. <laughs> he grew up in the privileged side of Houston. What do you mean trenches? I don't know. I guess to him, those was the trenches. But I mean, we had sellings down the street type of trenches. That's where I'm from. I mean, you gonna see somebody riding at nighttime with their lights off, but they about to do a bust. Those kind of trenches. It's funny. People are funny, man. But yeah, that's that's where I was born and raised. And I say that to say no good things that I know really happened there. We got a football player out of there. I don't know how much more historical stuff have happened there. I really don't keep up with them. But I will say as far as like success and stuff, it ain't really been for us, you know, and I'm something good that came from there. And I just want to showcase that it doesn't matter what background you come from, what you start off with. Y'all, I'm literally recording this on my Samsung phone. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to get my storage right by the end of this. Like, I got so many other videos I got to record. And so because of that, like, now how I got to edit things are different. Because it's not like a camera where it's a full screen. Like, there's some black on here. I say that to say... Don't make excuses, man. If you want it, go for it. Like, the world is your oyster. Also, y'all gonna hate me, but I gotta go get my lipstick. Did you miss me? All right. Now, this is what we're gonna do. Makeup is on. Pretty much all I have left is my eyeshadow and lipstick and stuff like that, which is why I want to run and go get it really quickly. Um... For today, I think I'm going to do like a brown, like blend in some browns together because I'm going to slap some purple over it. So we're going to do like this little thing right here. Just go with me, work with me, work with me. And then I got to be careful because I don't really know where the, I see I'm getting into some of my purple. Okay, then you lighten it up a little bit. Know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I ain't gonna suggest y'all that song because I don't want to promote nobody being a, a heathen because I shouldn't even be jamming to it. Slow down, baby. Okay. Anywho. Oh, man. Okay. I can work with this. That's not bad. Guys, be just be careful with your colors because like I've said before... <laughs> If you don't watch it, you will smudge things. It doesn't look bad, but it, it is a little smudged. So let me let me fix this real quick. Cause like I say, I can't be looking busted out there, okay? Also, I don't know why old me decided to even draw this mask this way. Like, why would you put it so close? You know what I'm saying? Like goodbye but anyways so i have this grape soda oh now you're gonna come out of here this grape soda color from um suva that i want to use i'm looking for my my brush guys i got a specific brush for these this is the color i man suva be making some let me move you suva be making some great stuff y'all if I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. 
So we're going to break this thing out. I obviously don't use this one that much, but it's my water control. I don't know. I am not very good with like liquid based things if they're not already liquidy. <laughs> it's a thing. I'm going to get better at it though. I promise. But please be careful when you're doing this because I can tell you. I will make messes for no reason. Just be struggling for no reason. Also, see what I mean? Okay, I can rectify that too. I was going to tell you, my tip for this eyeliner is when you do the corner, so like, if I'm putting on it this way when you do your corner dot it that way create your line like that see so then that way you don't really have to like you have to go back through it and line it but it's not that bad and then of course as it dries up more I was a little scared to touch that part. I'm not going to lie because I was like, I don't want to mess this up. But whatever. So. Come here. Yeah, you you looking in. Come here. Don't, don't click off. I'm sorry. All right. So, I used to do this thing. I've started back doing this thing where I, is that how I want to do it today? I think that's how I want to do it. Y'all, we about to find out if that's how I want to do it. That's how I want to do it. Obviously, I planned this out before I started. <sighs> There's little things making me act out. Look at that time stamp. I'm gonna I'm cut a lot of stuff out. No worries. That's for me, not for y'all. Okay. Basically, I like to put color on my bottom eyelash because I don't always like to um, put eyeliner on down there. I just don't want to, okay? It's a thing. Like, I may not just want it that day, so... I instead put, like I say, a little color down there so that that way, oh, there's something there, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yes, you. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not aggressive, I promise. How do I? Sorry, I had to decide how I want to do that. Okay, I just needed it to curve like a little bit more. Am I satisfied with you? Shade on lie. Okay, it's not that I'm not satisfied. It's that you're a little bit too much. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, this is why I hate like... All right, we're rocking it. We're doing it. I love liquid eyeliners. I hate trying to put them on my um, face. You know what? That's actually a good idea, Lord. Let's see.
Okay, yes, I had to cut again. Sorry, sorry. I got quiet again and I was like, I'm not gonna, mm -mm -mm. I'm not gonna waste your time like that. Other times, I don't think I'm wasting your time necessarily. Like, I'll go through the steps and put on background music, but because I didn't really have steps, I was just indecisive trying to figure out what worked for me. That's why I don't want to, like, drag you through that. So now all you gotta do is fluff out those eyelashes. Okay. Please be careful not to poke your eye out. All right. If at any time you want to go back and darken up, you can. I probably will do it off camera so I don't keep holding you guys. Last part is lipstick. I got this from ColourPop. It's I Love Sahari. I don't necessarily... Everything else is scratched off. Sorry, guys. I got it on ColourPop. It's under like the lipstick section. Red... Usually I use my other lipstick, but it's been a while since I used this particular red. Woo! All right, guys. So let me tell you what I added because you know me. I always forget something, don't I? <laughs> so right here, I added like a little gash. It was something I had on my picture because the book is called Rose Blood. It's about tangled love, you know, all that stuff, how like the thorns and stuff can cut you. Hence, you know, cut. I used this DLS blush. Don't quote me on where, because I don't even know where I got it from. My best friend, Sugar Cookie, gave it to me, and I don't really use blush that much, but I felt it was appropriate to use, and I probably will, like, I don't know, darken it up with the photo if it doesn't come out the way I want, but I, I mean, I like it like this, you know, it looks like a, it looks like a bruise, um, if you know what you're looking at, but so anyways, guys, this is my rose blood inspired look i hope that you have enjoyed this um i know i know i'm still working at getting good and i'm really but i know i just really started this and and i think the camera just broke but i really just started this and thank you for watching thank you for tuning in you know even if it's only about two or three people who view i am grateful for that hopefully i can inspire you and encourage you and say something that will really push you to go forward i did want to make this fyi whenever i do face paint like this especially even with my makeup 10 out of 10 i will break out really bad my skin is very sensitive so um there is this thing called clear proof it's a charcoal mask i always use it after i do these and what it does is it draws up like your blemishes and stuff and you know if you wear it for about 20 25 minutes sometimes if like i've done heavier cosplays i will hold it for 30 but then you wash it off and you put on your moisturizer and for my moisturizer i have um some Palmer's Fade Cream, and I also use that good old cocoa butter, okay, and Vaseline, which I need some more. But those are all the products I use, just in case, like I said, you want to try this or you want to get your face worked on, because trust me, I know what it's like to have breakouts, babe. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give me a like. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell so you'll know when I post. 
if you want to know when I post. But really, guys, comment down below what you would like to see. If you would like to see a particular look. And until next Friday, I've been your semi-rambling host, Victavia. Please remember always, the Lord bless you. And I love you guys. Goodbye.